Today we are going to talk about how to create a 3D model of Savinius wind turbine in SpaceClaim software. So follow me in this video. Hello my friends, welcome to another training course. I am Tohit Mogimi, the ANSYS trainer of Simpal Group. Uh, and today I want to talk about uh, how to create a 3D model of uh, Savinius wind turbine in a space claim. And as I want to uh, my simulation be a real one, I'm going to use the details of an article, the geometry details and boundary condition. And the first step to create this uh, 3D model is using the uh, rotor diameter as you seen here is uh, 0.4 meter. Okay, let's go to the space claim, uh, select an sketch and use a circle option from here to create a circle from the center with a 40 millimeter. Okay. So the next step is creating two arcs which make our blades and uh, the overlap gap between uh, the rotor is uh, one quarter of the diameter and is 10 millimeters. Now I use a guideline and check the define from center to create a line with 10 millimeters and use these two points in the next step to create the two circle from uh, these points. Note that the new circles should uh, touch the main circle like this. And now you can uh, create a line from top to bottom side of your circle and with trim away option you can uh, remove unnecessary lines okay keep these two curves which are our blades and remove all uh, other lines okay the next step is using offset curve uh, press on control and click the two curves to create a thickness uh, to our blade uh, I choose uh, 0 0.5 millimeters and now you should uh, delete this line and close the curves to create to a surface use line option and uh, close the open curves okay now you can uh, remove the main circle we add it again in the next step uh, press on 3D model to see the surface of your blades and remove the curves. Now you should define a height for this surface to create to a 3D model. In the article it mentioned 40 mm for this. I select the surfaces, uh, use pull and from both side option and move my mouse and set uh, 40 mm to the height of these blades. Okay, uh, the wind turbine is almost done and the last uh, step is creating two discs uh, on top side and bottom side of uh, your wind turbine. I use this surface and create a sketch and uh, create another circle uh, to touch the blades tip like this. Okay, if you press on 3D mode, you will see that the surface and blades have in a section. For this, you can um, firstly hide the uh, bodies, then press on 3D mode. And now you can show the bodies again. Okay, uh, by using pull option and no merge, you can set uh, a thickness to the disk. And finally, you should duplicate uh, the disk uh, to use uh, in front side. For this, uh, you can use a move option from uh, top bar from here. Uh, click on component and select the body. Press on control and move your mouse uh, to have a duplicate of your disk. Now you can use a uh, align option uh, to touch the 
bottom side of your plates. The geometry is done, but if you want to create the middle shaft, you can use uh, a plane, for example, XZ surface, create a sketch and define a circle with the diameter of shaft. Now you can uh, use pull option and from both sides to create the middle shaft. Okay, thank you for watching this video. It was how to create a Savinius wind turbine in a space claim. In the next step, we're gonna talk about uh, how to uh, create a meshing in ANSYS meshing software. So subscribe this channel and share with your friends and don't miss the next part. Thank you, bye bye.